this is a tricky but very 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 easy geometry math question you are welcome back to my channel today we have a lovely one to solve okay very interesting one we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion please this is not drawn to scale now this is the height of this right angle triangle and its right angle as you can see okay the length from here to here is one why the length from here to here is root 17. the question says we should find the area of the shaded portion now this is a semicircle okay let's name this triangle a b um let's just call this c and d okay so how do we go about this we need to figure out what we want to do first before we start doing anything first of all the area of the shaded portion let's call it as will be equal to the area of this whole uh, uh this thing shape which is a semicircle right so area of the semicircle so let's say area of the circle minus area of this triangle so area of the triangle okay so now area of a of the semicircle will be hard for us to get for now so first let us try to get the area of the triangle so in triangle a d b in triangle a d b Using the Pythagorean theorem, according to the Pythagorean theorem, if you have a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse squared, let's call this A, B, and C. According to Pythagoras, it says that this A squared is equal to this B squared plus this C squared. Okay? So, it simply means that we can find uh a b using the pythagorean theorem so we can see that the hypotenuse squared which happens to be square root of 17 squared will be equal to a b squared which we don't know yet plus a d b d squared so we are going to have square root of 17 squared is equal to a b squared plus b d squared that is one squared so we have that root 17 squared is equal to a b squared plus one now i want you to recall that square root of a all squared is equal to a Therefore, we will have 17 here is equal to AB squared plus 1. Now, let's transfer this one to the other side of the equation. If we do that, we have 17 minus 1 is equal to AB squared. Now, 17 minus 1 is 16 is equal to A b squared now taking square root of both sides square root of both sides we will have square root of 16 is equal to square root of a b squared now square root of 16 is plus or minus 4 is equal to now square we remove the root sign and we have a a b so it means that a b has two values plus four and minus four but we cannot take minus four because we are talking about length and length is something you can see so it cannot be negative therefore our a b is what four so i'm going to replace this with four all right now why am i doing this first of all 
okay permit me to redraw this diagram here we have this sorry <laughs> this is hand sketch this is supposed to be a semicircle okay so it's supposed to be curved somehow all right so we have this we have this we have that we have root 17 we have one we have this and we have gotten here to be four so we have a b c d okay now let us complete this circle okay before we complete it let us reproduce db so let's draw a line that is equal to db okay so let's call this point e and de should be one should be equal to one okay now let's complete this circle if we complete this circle you can see that we have a meeting point between two chords of this circle so using the chord chord power theorem now what does the chord chord power theorem discuss or what does it say i will explain but before that please hit the subscription button turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you're coming across this wonderful channel give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and congratulations to us we have hit and surpassed the hundred thousand subscribers threshold i want to thank you immensely all of you that have been there for me from day one when this channel started till this breaking point thank you so much i really appreciate you all i cannot start calling your names but just know that i love you all thank you okay all right if you know what we are doing that you don't like please feel free to comment that on the comment section tell us how you feel whether you like it or not just tell us in the comments okay thank you very much now according to the cord cord power theorem cord cord theorem says that in a circle you have two chords intersecting at a point. Let's call this A, B, and another chord C, D, and the center or their point of intersection, let's call it O. According to this um, chord chord power theorem, it states that AO multiplied by OB is equal to CO multiplied by o d that is what this code code power theorem states all right so we have such thing here and it's very important to us here because we want to use it to get the value of our dc okay so using the code code power theorem we can say that four that is a d multiplied by dc should be equal to d oh we call this d and we have d here already oh my goodness okay this is supposed to be b so let's use b so that we don't confuse each other so that means this is a b multiplied by b c should be equal to d b multiplied by b e okay now a b is four bc is the one we are looking for is equal to db is one and be is one as well so we have four bc is equal to one now if we divide both sides of this equation by four dividing by four we are going to have that bc is equal to one over four all right so we have one over four here now remember that we are looking for the area of the shaded portion which should be equal to area of the semicircle minus area of the triangle okay now that we have gotten all we need that let's go ahead and find the area of the triangle the area of the semicircle and subtract okay all right so area of the triangle let's start with area of the semicircle remember that area of a semicircle is half pi r squared okay and remember that r 
is equal to d divided by 2 where d is the diameter so that means that we need to get the diameter and divide it by 2 before we get the radius of this semicircle which is very easy now the diameter of this semicircle is a c so d is equal to a c which is equal to 4 plus 1 over 4 so this is equal to the lcm is 4 when 1 divides 4 you have 4 4 times 4 is 16 when 4 divides 4 you have 1 1 times 1 is 1 so our diameter is 17 over 4 all right okay so we're going to divide this by 2 all right divided by 2 r now will be 17 over 4 divided by 2 which we can solve as 17 over 4 times 1 over 2 okay if we change division to multiplication we check we take the inverse of this this is 2 over 1 so its inverse is 1 over 2 so we are going to have 17 over 4 times 2 is 8 okay so we are going to have 17 over 8 as our radius all right now that our radius has been gotten we can now find the area of c now area of c or area of the semicircle then is half multiplied by pi multiplied by 17 over 8 squared okay so the area of the semicircle is half multiplied by pi multiplied by now 17 over 8 we are going to use our calculator to be faster okay okay i'm back so what we have is 17 divided by 8 which will give me 2.125 so i have 2.125 squared okay so area of the circle will be 2.125 squared which is 4.5156 pi divided by 2. So I'll have 4.52 approximately pi divided by 2. So I'm going to leave this in this way. This is pi, please. All right, now let's go ahead and find area of the triangle, which is very easy, right? Now, area of the triangle is half base times height. Area of triangle is half multiplied by the base. Now the base is, let's just write it like this. So area of the triangle is half multiplied by the base is 4 multiplied by the height is 1. So area of the triangle is when 2 divides 4, we have 2. So area of the triangle is just two units squared okay so we haven't gotten this then we can find the area of the shaded portion is equal to area of the circle i think it's time for me to complete this okay so we have 4.52 4.52 multiplied by pi which will give me this is AC minus A triangle. So area of the shaded portion is now AC is giving me 14.2 divided by 2 minus. Now area of the triangle is 2. So area of the shaded portion will be equal to 14.2. divided by 2 is 7.1 so we have 7.1 minus 2 so area of the shaded portion will be 5.1 okay and that is the answer 5.1 units squared thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye